Hi everyone, I'm Jessica with Paper Mart and today I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute burlap wreath. And there's nothing I like after a hard long day than just to come home and see a really fun homemade wreath on my door. It just always kind of brightens my day. So I'm gonna show you how to make one with some Paper Mart stuff. All right guys, so here's what you need to get started. Um, first of all, we've got our Paper Mart burlap ribbon. This is um, a four inch width here and you're actually gonna need two spools of this. Um, some sewing pins or glue dots, whichever you find easier. A pair of scissors, a ruler, a metal wire frame. I've already started wrapping this with our burlap, but here's kind of what it looks like before that. And then of course you're gonna need some daisies to finish it off, some plastic ones. You've got our yellow and white we've just picked up from a craft store. All right, so first of all guys, we're just gonna go ahead and finish wrapping um, our metal wire. Um, and then I've just gone ahead and done this, so I'm just gonna show you how to finish it off. You just basically wrap and go around um, the whole perimeter of it, and then once we're finished, we can use either our pins or glue dots to um, just kind of tie that down and secure it. So I'm just gonna take one more glue dot here, <clears throat> and put that on our burlap. And then we're just gonna go ahead and take it around to the back here. and just secure it, uh, secure it with our glue dots. Use one more. Last thing we want is it falling apart after we've worked on it, so. One here. There we go. All right, so let's get to some of our ribbon tying. Um, we're gonna need, for all these bows on here, um, a total of eight strips, which makes 16 bows. And I'm gonna measure them out to be um, 33 inches long. So. Okay, and then I'll cut that. I'm gonna show you how to do one of them here and then you're just gonna go ahead and finish up with the rest. But um, with our strip here now, it's a little bit wider than we want for our smaller bows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this down the length of our ribbon. And you don't have to have this be exactly in the middle. In fact, I like them to be a little bit varying in um, width. So I'm gonna kinda of do it a little bit um, you know, off, maybe like two thirds and then a third of this strip. And just start cutting. And if you can, try to um, cut along the same strip here. You can kind of see that it's like that crisscross grid pattern. Try to stay in the same column, so to speak, of your grid so it doesn't unravel. It just stays looking a lot nicer that way. That's what we want, especially if we're gonna keep it around for a few years. Okay. So I've done that now, um, and we're just gonna go ahead and continue that with the rest of them. But I'm gonna show you then how to tie some of these bows and start attaching them to our wreath. So I'll take a skinnier one. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and tie these in a regular bow. And the fun thing about this wreath is um, it's rustic. It does not have to be a perfectly tied bow. Um, the widths can be varying. Just think of it as just kind of a little more, um, you know, just fun and hodgepodgey, I guess. I'm totally making words up now. All right, so we've done that, and then um, we're just gonna go ahead and use our pins to secure them. This is a lot easier for me than glue dots, but you can, you can find what works best for you. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and start, I'll make this the top of my wreath and use our pins. I actually like the look of the pin in there too. If you don't like that, you can use a flower later on to cover it up or use the glue dots. And then we can cut these if they're a little long still. There we go. Cute, got our bows going on here. And we're gonna continue doing that all the way around um, our wreath. I'll show you one I've been working on a little bit more Okay, this one's got, it's bow dazzled. 
<laughs> so the thing you have to keep in mind when you're putting these bows on is that you want to start here at the top and just leave a little space in between because we're going to do this one big bow at the end to kind of finish it off. Um, so just kind of start by putting the bows down into the center on the bottom. And you want to do the same thing on the other side, but bring these together in the middle here so they're facing a, you know, a downward direction. Otherwise our bows will be upside down and it'll look a little funny. All right, so the last bow we're going to do um, is the whole length of the ribbon here. And we're just going to go ahead and cut one that's 55 inches. I've already done that. And tie our finishing touch bow. Burlap has a mind of its own sometimes. <laughs> Try to tie my best bow here. All right, so, so my ends are a little off, but I've actually tied one that looks a little nicer, so I'll bring that one in here. So you basically want the ends to be long enough to kind of hang down on our wreath there. So we'll center that nice bow that we've tied, the big one, and we can use some of our pins here to secure it. And I'm gonna hide this pin just to give you a different look here. And I'll pin that one through, use one more. Okay, so there we have all of our cute little bows around our wreath. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with some of our flowers. So I'll move this to the side. All right, so we have our sprays that we've picked up um, from the store, and we're just gonna go ahead and take these um, and just kind of cut off some smaller, some smaller flowers because we're obviously not gonna put the whole bouquet on there by itself. So I'm gonna cut these, um, maybe just leave like a quarter to, to a half an inch um, down the length of the stem and just cut a bunch of them off there. You're probably gonna need about eight of each color. Um, so we'll do some, cut our white and our yellow. And I've done already a few more. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and these are um, these are pretty tough here, so they'll actually go right through the burlap and the burlap and they'll stick really well. So we're just gonna go and put these in varying places through our burlap bows. Kind of pull them out the side here. All right, so here. And just, you know, you can put these wherever you want. And I like that um, you're not attaching these actually permanently to the wreath. You can kind of pull them right back out. Because um, I love the idea of, I like to recycle things and make, um, you know, decorations last all year long. So you can actually, you know, take these flowers out, put them in a plastic bag and save them for, for next year. And then um, when the seasons are changing, if it's maybe fall, you can put some um, leaves in here you can grab from the craft store or um, acorns or something more um, related to the season. Maybe poinsettias or something for um, Christmas time. So we've got a lot of, a lot of options. All right. and you can add more flowers if you want. It's all up to you and your, your own taste. but your neighbors will be really glad you've done this craft because it'll brighten not only your house, but the whole neighborhood. All right. So there we go. We've got our finished wreath. Um, you can also too cut off the ends if you want into diagonal, or um, I like to do the little V shape sometimes. So whatever feels fun to you, but I hope you guys enjoyed making this craft. Uh, make sure you check out all the other crafts and um, supplies that we have on our website at papermart.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.